dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. And that easy uh, ability to bend. Again, on the circle line, a little bit bending. And here you can see what I was talking about. He pins his ears. He's really not a mad horse. It's just his demeanor. He have had him since he was three years old, and he's done it ever since. And sometimes it's less, and sometimes it's more. Again, the corners and the turns, getting the horse on the outside rein, using also here now some leg yielding. It's a basic exercise, but very useful. I think a little like shoulder four coming out of the corner now. There you go. Right now it gets softer on my right rein through the use of bending, through the use of gentle lateral work as a warm up exercise, not as a performance. trying to look for the swinging in the back, the evenness, evenness of the movement. Gets a little lazy, a little reminder again. There we go. And the judges like to see this horse always a little bit rounder, a little bit lower. So my training goal every day is to get the roundness, the looseness through this horse's top line. This footing is not sand, it's felt, and every once in a while it clumps up, so you just saw him stumble a little bit. And so what happened? And then in the uh, trot work, I make him loose, like I did in the walk, trying to get him in up a little bit now. Flexion right, giving right, flexion left, giving left, and the same thing in the other gates. having the feeling after I apply a rein aid, I release. I try not to give my rein and leg aids exactly at the same time as I don't want to trap my horse. So if I do the shoulder and left leg, left rein, but then light again. Now more leg, now less leg, now outside rein. Now more leg, now less leg, now outside rein. So the timing of my aids, I try to schedule so that the horse doesn't feel I press him against my hand, but I bring him to my hand. When he does, I give. And I half hold again, and I give. So the half holds, leg, light leg, rein, light rein, giving, leg, light leg, rein. And so the combination of the two aids are really important, whatever exercise I'm riding. Now looking at the ladder, I go to the ladder, Try to keep the suppleness on the inside. So that way I should be able to improve my scores where I had some slight, uh, com some comments about lacking bend slightly in the half path and in the shoulder end. If I feel he needs more forward, I go forward, half forward, then half pass. So that the horse is thinking forward for the lateral movement. And again, so I make him think we're doing a medium trot, but then I bring him back a little, and this energy comes to the half pass. All I do is bring my right leg back, touch him light, touch him light. Transition, sitting tall, and giving. Adjustability of the horse. People call it pliability of the horse. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top seated international dressage trainers, riders, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online. 
while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects. DressageClinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips.